Hello YouTube, this is the Saucy5 and this is going to be a 2 minute knife review over the Cold Steel um, uh, 4 inch Voyager. Uh, very comparable to uh, the uh, Spadoco Endora in shape, well not shape, but in size and in use. It's a, this is a good EDC blade. Um, I find that the um, it has a Maltese cross um, uh, FRM texture and I find that this knife is very comfortable in the hand. It fits my hand perfectly. You got a finger choil right here which fits right where your pointer finger goes. It has a hook right there that fits your pinky and it's very comfortable in the hand. It fits like a well-made glove and um, I personally don't like a lot of belly on my EDC knives. That's why I prefer the Endura. But um, this is my backup EDC knife that I keep in my pack in case I accidentally leave the house without an EDC knife. Um, good point, but not a lot of tip control. And I'd say the biggest negative of this knife is how it comes from the factory that um, the pocket clip is very tight against the FRN and with this very aggressive texturing it will um, be difficult to put in and out of the pocket or to clip or unclip from the pocket and it's going to tear up your pants so there's no need for a special nothing fancy mod you basically just bend the pocket clip into the desired tension and it's good to go um, so um, it's a good knife um, good for cutting up food and uh, stuff I happen to prefer the uh, Endora for its blade shape and color I kind of try to stick away from black knives here lately I like less threatening knives and more aesthetically pleasing knives. So that's it. I'm a Satsu 5 and I'm out.